persons in this room who have contributed to the development of Jamaica that I literally do not know where to start and I'm fearful that I may leave someone out. So Bruce, thank you very much. I noticed you're building on our gains, charting our future. It sounds like I'm still at the Ministry of Finance. Building on our gains, charting our future. And it is not by accident that we have made progress. And much of the progress that we have made, we want to thank the ICAJ for partnering with us on many initiatives. I want to thank the ICAJ for partnering with us on the International Public Sector Accounting Standards. The ICAJ has remained strident in emphasizing the importance of transparency and accountability in public sector finances and in facilitating greater monitoring and better allocation of government resources which were down to better fiscal decision making. The ICJ is working with us on implementation of oversight arrangements for corporate governance. The ICJ is critical in the Audit Commission of Jamaica of the public service the ICAJ was instrumental in helping the Ministry of Finance chart its way through the accounting nightmares that emanated from the JDX, NDX. The ICAJ, we believe, is a partner with the Ministry of Finance that we cannot do without. The Ministry of Finance looks forward to this continuing partnership and building of an even stronger relationship. As you build your, on your gains and chart your future, we believe that we are all building on our gains in this country and charting our future together. We look forward to strengthening this relationship and we applaud the members for the high professional standards that they have maintained over the years, a standard that is worthy of mentoring and modeling. Finally, as I close, I wish to leave this prestigious gathering of brilliant minds with an ode to auditors by Lawrence Sawyer, but I won't say it here. That's the re responsibility of you auditors to look at and provide me with a management report when I see you later as to how well you did that research. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for having invited the Minister of Finance. I want to take the opportunity again to congratulate my good friend, our newly, our newly owned Don Webby at the Ministry of Finance. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Financial Secretary. And Donna didn't, you know, I was omitting some stuff, you know, those two years of the, at the ministry. But, you know, you did us very proud, and I'm sure that it will be mentioned later on. I can assure you, though, it's not coming back. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm going to be moving on to the recognition and the pinning of our new members. And at this time, I'm going to invite the very beautiful Mrs. Elaine Robinson, our membership chair, 
to come and lead this part of the program. While she's coming, I'm inviting all our new members who are here to line up to my left, the right of the room facing the stage. So let's welcome this lovely lady, Mrs. Cillian Robinson. Mr. Master of Ceremonies, Mr. Leighton McKnight, our distinguished honoree, Mr. Don Webby, our distinguished guests, colleague accountants, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. There is no denying that members are the lifeblood of any professional organization. But what is perhaps more important than just having members is to ensure that there is a continuous infusion of new members to provide for the organization those needed doses of new vibrancy, new ideas, and new talents that would ensure that the organization endures and thrives for the long haul. Those are things that are extremely important to the ICAJ, and over the years we have tried our very best to try and focus on members' needs and to provide them with services that are in keeping with the change, changes needed for our members. We are proud that at this time we are more than 1,200 strong in our membership. And you would have heard from our new president, um, who gave you some indication of what his focus is, and his responsibility for launching the Institute into our next 50 years of growth is one which is also focused on ensuring that the issue of members is front and center in all that we do, because that is really what's going to make the ICAJ continue to be the type of organization it has been for the 50 years that have passed. We have, over the past year, been fortunate enough to bring into membership 20, 39 persons. And I don't think it would come as any surprise to you that the fairer sex are in the majority. We actually have, of those 39, 28 females and 11 males. It has become the practice of the ICAJ on this very special event that we have, and have had annually for a long time, that we recognize those persons who are brought into the membership of the, of the Institute over the course of the, of the year. We have, however, only been fortunate enough to have two of those persons with us this evening, but we are going to invite our president, Mr. Bruce Scott, to join me on stage to formally pin those two members and to publicly welcome them into the membership of the ICAJ. And I will now call them forward. Mr. President, would you come to pin those members? And I think Mr. Lisa, Ms. Lisa Cunningham is to have pins to assist you. Okay. First person, Ms. Lesha Bennett. Ms. Bennett. challenge to find where to put the pin. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of Jamaica, on the occasion of its 50th anniversary, salutes its members in retirement December 2014 to November 2015. It is my privilege to this evening pay tribute to our esteemed members who were transferred to the category of member in retirement during the period December 2014 to November 2015. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of Jamaica values members, the soul of the Institute, and without whom there will be no ICAJ. Each brings his or her own unique flavor to the melting pot of what is, what is the ICAJ, and the result is a world-class profession organization that moves as one.
थैंक यू Ladies and gentlemen, as we stand on the threshold of the ICAJ's 50th anniversary year, let's pause to recall the words of founding member Dennis Goldson. I quote, I believe that I speak for the founding fathers, those with us today and those gone before, when I say that we could only have dreamed of the magnificent achievements of our institute. We, the founders, had an extraordinary vision which has been fulfilled. The ICAJ Distinguished Award was established by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Jamaica to recognize members who have contributed through their achievements to the prestige and status of the Institute and who have made significant contribution to the development of the accountancy profession. This is the Institute most prestigious award. It is to be awarded annually or at such intervals as the Council of the Institute may determine from time to time. Nominees should be member of the Institute, whether retired or not. Nominations, however, may be made by an individual who need not be a member of this institute. The following are the considerations that inform the selection of the awardee. One, service to the institute, whether or not on council or committee of the council. Two, service within the profession, whether as a practicing member or a non-practicing member providing service in industry, commerce, public, or private sector. Three, sound character, unquestionable integrity, high ethical standards in all business dealings and practices. Four, service in or to the community. Five, personal achievements, and six have not previously received this award. Nominations are received by a select subcommittee and eligible candidates are presented to the selection subcommittee for voting. The committee comprises all member of councils, of councils, sorry, current at the sitting Current at the time the selection is to be made, the president or anyone designated by him shall be chairman. Voting is, con is conducted by secret ballot under the chairman's sole supervision. Only one awardee may be selected on each occasion. If there's no majority decision, or should the selection committee determine in any year that there's no suitable candidate for the award, none will be made. There will be no posthumous award except when the successful nominee passes on before the award is announced. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the selection committee, I sincerely thank those persons who took time out to submit nominations. This shows the high esteem in which our members are held. It is now my pleasure to invite the chairman of our audit practice committee, Mr. Nigel Chambers, to read the citation to Mr. Don Webby, who emerged as the 2015 distinguished member. An exemplar of the profession, Don Webby continues to inspire all by his sterling contribution to the profession, the private sector, government, and the nation. The ICAJ is proud to present the 2015 ICAJ Distinguished Member Award to Mr. Donald George Webby for his outstanding achievements and contributions to the accountancy profession.
and gentlemen, Dan Webby. So ladies and gentlemen, let me say that I'm truly honored to be here this evening accepting the 2015 ICAJ Distinguished Member Award. Let me say that I accept this award very humbly on behalf of a great company, Grace Kennedy, and the team at Grace Kennedy. As though their support, I would not be up here tonight. And I would like to thank my team at Grace Kennedy, who is here tonight. And I'm particularly honored to be receiving it on the 50th anniversary of the ICAJ. And once again, Bruce, congratulations. And I think Dennis Chung is here. Congrats, Dee. Well done. I would say that accounting has become a strategic navigational tool. We would really be lost without it in business. I want to, again, acknowledge and thank the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Jamaica for being that body that insists on the education and licensing of professional accountants and for encouraging and for encouraging and awarding those who have held true to the tenants of accounting. And I'm really happy that I spent the two years in government. Mark you, you were the jokes of the last, la, last me and Clovis, but hey, that, that's good, that's good, that, that is good. But you know, as the author Helen Keller says, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. And I want to build on that a little bit, and I want to say, Devon, that I'm really, really happy to hear that the ICAJ um, is working with the government and the public sector to have a better public sector. But I also want to say, and I, my friend, the Auditor General is here, Pam, and most of us, or a lot of us, I should say, in the private sector, have a great concern of how government, agent, government agencies and statutory bodies are being run, especially as it relates to corporate governance. And by that, what I mean, and it's in the news now, selection of boards, selection of the audit and compensation committee, internal controls, and timely and accurate reporting. And I thought about the audience tonight, and I thought about Jamaica. And I said to myself, how can we change Jamaica for the better? And I want to suggest, and the math is very simple, ladies and gentlemen, there are about 400 of us, or maybe more, in this room tonight. And according to the ICAJ, Bruce, we probably have about 1,200 members registered across Jamaica. Let us think about that a minute. Can you imagine how good it would be for Jamaica if each of us, if each of us find a way to meaningfully contribute to our nation? If each of us decided to give one hour of free national service to a statutory body or government agency, can you imagine the impact that would have on our nation? The end result would be better management, better control, and better governance. And I want to challenge the ICAJ. I want to challenge the PSOJ, Dennis is here as the CEO, and other associations. Let us speak a little louder about us playing a role in government on the various boards so we can improve the governance of those boards. Thank you very much again. God bless you all, and God bless Jamaica. Land we love.